So, um, so in any case, this right here may be the most important thing that you guys are going to learn from this course. I'm not kidding. I'm not exaggerating about this. The fact of the matter is, when it comes to steerability of leads, this is where the money's at, okay? Um, I've taught a lot of courses where people have come in and they've been like, oh, it's so hard to steer the St. Jude stuff, so this and that, and I promise you, Everyone at the end has been like, this is the easiest lead to steer, I love it, it's not a problem. It's because of a couple of things. You'll notice what I'm about to do over here to this lead, is put these little kinks in it, these little bends in it, and obviously, if I was to ask you which is the bad lead, which is a good lead, you would say, this is the bad and this is the good, okay? Now, why did I put these little kinks in there? Well, kinks can develop in the lead in three spots, in three distinct areas. The first area is when you first take this out of the kit. When you first take this out of the kit, each of these little kinks approximately corresponds to where they have these little grommets, these little clips, that essentially, if you're not paying attention to it, somebody will go and grab it and pull it out of the first clip and get that kink. Pull it out of the second clip, get that kink. Does it really matter? Well, look, I'm gonna show you guys something. So watch, I'm gonna go and steer it at the end and watch me steering and watch what effect it has on the actual tip of the lead. Here I go, I'm steering, I'm at one full rotation. Look at this. You see that? Nothing at all was translated to the end of the lead. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing with this other lead. Well, first let me make sure that the stylet's in all the way. But the exact same thing with the other lead, and here we go. I start to do my rotation, look at that. It's actually flipping the entire thing. You see that? I mean, it's that, and, and quite honestly, this over here has a kink in it somewhere also. It's a lot more subtle. It's right back over here, but that's why it was kind of flipping like that. So my point is that, that that's how important these little kinks are. So the first place that you could get it was when you take it out of those clips, right? The second place that you're going to get it is suppose you're not in all the way into the actual bevel of the needle, and or, or I mean, suppose your needle's not in the epidural space, you're kind of pushing it and trying to get it to go through scar tissue or you think that you're in, and you develop a kink right there. The last place that you normally get it is, is when you're trying to connect it to the connector cable. What ends up happening with a lot of people is, is that we never take our stylet out for, for the St. Jude leads. So when you're putting it in, you want to make sure that it's in the open position, the O position, and you kind of push, 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 while you're pushing this down, but some people kind of push a little too hard and too aggressively, and so they they end up clipping it down, and it's fine while they're testing it, but when they take it out, they have a kink right over there, okay? So kinks really, really, really matter. What do you do, though? Well, the, the, good, the good news is, is that the solution is not that hard, okay? You don't have to go and throw away the lead. It's not like it's unusable or anything like that. So what you do is, you take the stylet out, and, you, and all you have to do is, in the kit, they come with a straight stylet. You just need to make sure that you're cognizant enough to go and put a little bit of a bend over here at the end. So I'm just putting a little bit of a bend over here. And then all you have to do is, just restylet the actual lead. Here we go. And you restyle at the actual lead, and what ends up happening is, is that you end up with essentially a brand new lead. You see? This is that same one that was kinked over there before. So that's one thing, but there's one more exceptionally important rule that I have to tell you guys, okay? When you're steering these leads, when you're actually putting this product in, you, these leads operate kind of like the old, the old cars used to without power steering, okay? Before power steering, you know what I mean? You couldn't turn the wheel if you were sitting still. You'd have to be either moving forward or you'd have to be going in reverse. And that's how these leads operate also, is that if you're not moving, you will not be able to steer the lead. Okay, so what you'll notice is, and I'm going to demonstrate it over here first and then let you guys practice, but what you'll notice is, is that when I go and advance my lead, I'm always, always in motion if I'm trying to change the direction. What, and so even if I kind of stop or stall somewhere, what ends up happening is, is that what you'll notice is I start going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until I can go and flip the direction. 
you just and I'm not talking about back and forth. I'm not talking about big motion. I'm talking about little, you know, just little motion back and forth. I mean, you know, half a centimeter back, half a centimeter forth until I get it to flip the direction into the direction that I want. Okay? So let's go and take a look at this over here on the screen now. So here we go. Another important thing to go and know is that you want to go and leave a little bit of slack if you're not paying attention. A lot of people go this far and they, they slide the lead off the stylet. And so you just need to be kind of mindful of that. Yeah, this is going to be odd for me to go and do without a, floor, without a foot pedal. But So looking over here at the screen then, ready, we're going to do some flora, okay? Flora? Good. Actually, follow follow the, with the up with the machine. Good. Picture? Okay, so so take a look at this now. So picture, good, thank you. So here we go, we're about to start to come out. Okay, and fluoro. And look at this. You see how it's kind of going towards that left side? Let's just suppose for illustrative purposes that I wanted it to go to the right. So here I go, back and forth, back and forth, until it goes to the right. You see that? You see how subtle that is? And I don't know if you all noticed my, my fingers, but the thing is that when I'm deriving this, I'm not doing I'm not doing this. This is what a lot of people go and do when they're trying to steer this. What I'm doing is I'm doing this picture, flora. I'm doing that and see that. And now I'm going to go and get it to go to the left. Keep following it up, please. And then I'm going to the right. And literally, it's a, it's very subtle. Like I'm literally just putting enough torque on there so that when I go back and forth, I can get it to go to the direction that I want. Suppose I wanted to go to the left. You see that? So it's not a very aggressive motion. It's not a twist, 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 twist kind of motion. It's, it's just very soft to the left, very soft to the right, and just constantly making sure that you're actually moving this back and forth, okay? So I want you guys to go and practice this over here. With the, with the needle in place, I want you all to each go and practice steering this so you can get a feel.